Now then guys, how you doing? I'm Craig and thank you for joining me as we go through a quick tip today on how to install and upload the new FM23 kits. So first of all, it's choosing your site of choice. Now I know some people do use FM Inside where you just click on downloads, you go down to kit packs and away you go. Now when you click on the kit pack, see there is no mega pack at the minute. You can just go through by league and as you can see, you know, you can go Premier League, Championship, League One and so on. But for me, I use Sorted Out size, so as you can see, I'm on the home page. What I'm doing is going on to 2023 kits. At this moment in time, the standard kits mega pack isn't actually working. I know someone will correct me in the comments and say, oh, you clicked on the wrong thing. Fair enough. However, I'm just going on the short sleeve kits here. And then I'm going to Football Manager 2023 Kit Pack, clicking on that and scrolling my way down. And as you can see, England, English League 1 to 3, click on that one. Scroll down and then I've got the option to download. So I'm going to download England Levels 1 to 6. Now clicking on that, I'll start my downloading. And you can see there, England Levels 1 to 6 being downloaded on WinRAR. So WinRAR is a tool that I use to do my downloads. And just typing in WinRAR on your Google bar will bring you to this page. Now you can buy the WinRAR download, obviously you're not going to do that. You can also download it for free just by clicking on that and you'll be ready to go. So once downloaded, you will see it in your downloads folder, England Levels 1 to 6. If I just right click on that and then cut, and then I'm going to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 23, and then you'll get to a position where there may not be a graphics folder. If you need to create a graphics folder, right click, New, and then Folder, and just call it Graphics as it is. You then go into the graphics folder, if you've got any other packs that you've downloaded, they'll already be in there, but what you want to do is right click and paste, and then right click on the WinRAR file again, and extract here. And there you go, just like that, it's all sorted. Once you're seeing a similar picture, click on the WinRAR folder, and delete, and there you go, you're ready to go. Now if you want to check to see if the shirts have downloaded correctly, go on to England Levels 1-6, to 6, Premier, and as you can see, in all its glory, there's your new shirt. Now here we are in game and obviously we want to see the shirts in all of their glory. And at this moment in time, Manchester United's kit's not very good at all. So what you want to do is you want to click on the options tab and then go down to preferences. You'll see most common. What you want to do then is go on to interface. I've got the reload skin button, but if that's not showing, you just go down to where it says skin here and click the reload skin when confirming changes. What you want to do is clear the cache, click that yes and then reload skin, and away we go. And then just like that, all the kits have been uploaded, and it looks bloody beautiful, doesn't it? Let's be honest, feels a bit more realistic now with the kits in there as well. So that is it then, guys. The only thing left to do, really, for you to subscribe to the channel is there is plenty more FM22 guides, tips, and Let's Plays coming throughout this cycle. So yes, thank you very much, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.